Hi everyone, I'm Jay Kaiser, the founder of Athletic Systems. Today we're going to talk to you about the award-winning Kaiser M3 and the M3 Plus. We're going to show you the differences between both of them. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to try one out yet, I recommend going to your local facility or YMCA and uh, doing a class with it. We're also going to show you why companies like LA Fitness and cycling enthusiasts all over the country and the world love these bikes. The Kaiser M3 and the M3 Plus are the exact same bike, same powertrain, adjustments, computer, everything. The only difference here is that the M3 Plus has a forward and aft handlebar adjustment. So if you're a little bit taller, a little bit shorter, uh, this bike will be better for you because you have more adjustments there. It'll be a more comfortable ride. So from this angle, you can see that the uh, M3 Plus here on the right has a little bit different handle, the handlebar design for the uh, forward and aft adjustment. Other than that, everything else is the same. You got your shifter knob here on both bikes, you can see, and then the, the backlit display as well. So the M3 and the M3 Plus both have the same computer, which features RPMs, wattage, kilocalories, your heart rate, your time, distance, and also your gear setting, 1 through 24. It also has an emergency brake, so if you slam this guy all the way forward, you see how it's flashing right there? That's your emergency brake. That will There is a brake pad that touches a flywheel. So in case you injure yourself or anything else, you need to stop abruptly. Just push this guy all the way forward. Both the computers uh, feature a backlit display now. So if you like riding in a darker setting, then uh, it'll actually light up for you so you can see everything. If you're riding in traditional light, then it has this light sensor up here so it won't turn on the backlit. It'll save your battery life. Uh, if you do need to change out the batteries, they're two AA batteries. Some of the features on the M3 and M3 Plus here are the uh, seats can go up and down. They have kind of an infinite number there. You, you know, you don't have to worry about a plunger system where you're kind of in between, which makes it real nice. Four and a half seats, same thing, you can position it anyway. The handlebars here uh, can go up and down, and on the Plus model like this one, they also go forward and aft. Your shifter knob here is right for easy use as you're riding. You can adjust it right there. Every bike now comes with the flywheel guard, which makes it very, very nice, safe. And uh, they have the adjustment here on the back for the leveler. So if you're kind of on uneven ground, you can adjust the bike there. We have our uh, Shimano com combination pedals with our SPD clips and the cage. Or you can see here our water bottle holder, which is a gravity fed system, which fits pretty much any type of water bottle. And we also have our roller blade transport wheels here, which makes it really easy, even on uneven ground, to move the bike around. If you're not familiar with the eddy current system, what we have here is two opposing magnets on this bracket that look kind of like this. And what they do is they hover around our flywheel here to give the resistance. So the more tension you give, the more surface area hovers around the flywheel. The nice thing is nothing touches each other and there's no wearing parts. You don't have to do a change out a brake pad or a friction belt. So it gives it a very smooth, quiet ride as well as it doesn't wear out. So you see here, when we add tension on it, it just moves this bracket. And there's no tension on the cable. The cable doesn't stretch. It's just spring loaded just enough to move that bracket around there. So one thing I always like to do when I'm showing the bike at a facility is to invite the maintenance staff over and pull the covers off and show them the, the powertrain and the guts here of the bike. So they're the ones that traditionally always have to work on bikes and take care of and make sure, you know, everything's in pristine working order so you never have a bike down. So we're going to go ahead and go over this now. As you can see, the covers are off, but even before you take the covers off, you'll notice that all the plastics, uh, they're all contoured to get the sweat off and away from the bike. So that way you won't have to deal with as much rust issues and stuff like that. So with the covers off, you can see there's even foam and different contours in the frame itself to get that rust off and away the bike. So here on the powertrain, you can see the crank arms are real big, heavy duty uh, crank arms as well as the bottom brackets are big bearings and the, uh, the hub assembly as well. You notice that they don't have a chain on here. The engineers at Kaiser uh, decided to get rid of the chain because there's too many maintenance issues with it. You know, chains stretch, you're always having to adjust them, lube them, and to take care of them. And they, they're real clunky and, and, and noisy. So they went with this non-slip belt design, which works out great. It's really quiet and a real smooth feel. 
You'll notice here that the flywheel is also in the back of the bike. That's another rust, uh, rust and sweat zone prevention thing here. So we get everything out of this sweat zone, like I said. Uh, the flywheel is an eight pound flywheel versus, uh, you know, a lot of the bikes use a 30 pound. Now the problem with the 30 pound is, is it, it gives, it has a lot of inertia which carries you through your pedal stroke. So it's not a real bike feel, where this one's going to be more like your road bike. One of the best things about these bikes is they're the only bike that's made here in the U.S. They come standard with a three year warranty on them, which Kaiser was kind of the first company to have such a great warranty standard. Uh, they're tuned and calibrated from the factory uh, in California. There's a uh, video online that uh, shows Randy Kaiser walking the bike line. I'd recommend checking that out too. It's a pretty cool video. Uh, so you can actually watch your bikes being made. Um, so since they're tuned and everything's right from the factory, pretty much when they show up at your facility or at your doorstep, you just got to assemble the pieces and uh, you're good to go. You can be riding in no time. We do have a video out there that will show the assembly process for both the bikes. So if you uh, do want a little step-by-step -step guide, uh, check out that video. It, it's definitely helpful. Uh, we sell both the bikes online. So if you're interested in something like that, check out our website. Uh, if you're a club owner or individual that may want a catalog or a little bit more information or a quote, please feel free to give me a call directly. I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, you can reach me at 866 206 9005. Uh, you can always get to me uh, through athleticsystems.com through our website there. Uh, you can follow us on uh, Twitter and Facebook and uh, we'd be happy to help you.